Hello and thanks for stopping in. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing some gameplay of an upcoming CRPG by the name of Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness. This game is scheduled to enter early access on August 27th of 2021, which is only a few days away. Now this video is not sponsored, but I did get early access to the early access. So shout out to Grape Ocean Technologies for that. Now I have not played this game before. I've only seen a little bit of gameplay, so I'm going to be just as clueless as some of you guys watching but it should be a fun experience and it's going to be nice uploading a gameplay video that's not an actual live stream where i'm multitasking like crazy all right without further ado let's hop right in you can choose a character below and customize it or create one from scratch so i'll go ahead and create a new character Unfortunately, a dwarf cannot be a ranger, so I'm going to have to change my race because I want to play as a ranger on this first playthrough. And the elf can, and the elf also gets a plus 15% damage with bows and arrows, which is perfect. A plus one to dexterity and a minus two to maximum physique. The human can be any class. So I'm going to leave it on human just so we can see all of the classes that are available and then we'll go back and switch back to elf. So in early access, we can choose between the fighter, cleric, convoker, druid, highlander, necromancer, ranger, shaman, spellweaver, swindler, templar, thief, and winter mage. I'm going to choose ranger. Cannot wear heavy armor, can wield any weapon, so there must be some sort of weapon proficiency system in the game. We get a plus two to physique, dexterity, and charisma. Some damage boosts to these, and also some extra resistances. For attributes, we have physique, dexterity, intelligence, focus, charisma, and supernatural. And we also have an allocate points button. Physique modifies damage dealt with physical attacks. Their maximum health value. Okay, so that must be for bows also. Let's take a look at dexterity. Modifies aim and accuracy and chance to evade attacks through dodging. So it looks like physique and dexterity are both important for the ranger build that I want to do. So we'll go 10 and 10. For resistances, I think I'm good with a 5, 5, 5. Now we have skills and spells, general skills, bargain and persuasion, learning and research, brewing and drying. We already have one point into brewing and drying. That must be from our racial choice or class choice. So I'll put one into persuasion. I've been playing a lot of DOS 2 lately and uh, I regret not having more persuasion. Class-specific skills. Seasoned Warrior, Outdoor Survival, Command Company, and Force Locks and Doors. And we already have one into that and one into Command and Company. Seasoned Warrior enables additional dialogue choices themed around warriors. And Outdoor Survival increases health regained while resting at outdoor locations. Interesting. We'll go ahead and boost up Force Lock and Doors. And for weapons, we have three points to distribute, and I'll put them all into bows and arrows.
we also can choose a portrait, which looks similar to Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. And we'll go with this one right here. Hmm. What? Yes. And there you have it for character creation and early access. It seems like there's some good depth to it. It'll be exciting to figure out what everything means as we play. Let's jump right in. Why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Who are you supposed to be? Har har, you are so very droll. Ugh, you'd better hope Lord Espen is in as good a humor today. You do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbred are visiting. Ugh, please don't answer. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Are we a servant? You have received a quest to inspect the objectives or your progress during your quest. Click the operations button. Main quests. The lords and ladies of Isilbright arrived for an important conference at my lord's estate. I was given the duty of serving drinks throughout the evening. We are a servant. I'll do it. Try to get a feel for the movement a little bit. Not sure if there's a way to rotate the camera, but if there is, I'm not finding it. Long rest is T. Okay, I don't see a rotate camera, and it's very possible that she just might not be able to in this game. And here's all of our pause options. So we can have the game automatically pause when combat starts. I'll leave that off for now. I stand with the king! Oh, dearest Nifra, your eyes are like the pristine waters flowing in this fountain, really clear and wet. Your shining locks reminiscent of clouds shining in the sky up there above us. Thank you, Sir Gavilon. Your compliments warm my heart, I think. Oh, Nifra, there isn't a lass on this whole estate whose beauty compares with yours. Or, uh, maybe the country. Yeah, I mean in the whole country. That's very kind of you to say, Sir Gavilon. Your self-confidence is impressive. Listen, my fine Nifra, when I return to the great city of Isilbright, will you accompany me? I vow to treat you like the lady you were never born to be. What is your answer? Kind Sir Gavilon, my heart aches to give such an answer, but I'm not ready to marry anyone just yet. Please understand, I simply stepped away from my chores for a moment to catch my breath and stare at the fountain. Now I must return to work. I'll go wherever Rejected. I need it. Looks like this might be the world map. I really like the art style that they went with. Yeah. Hey Wolfart, come check out the show. She's just warming up so far, but wow. Too bad I'm on guard duty in the courtyard. The guys inside are going to get quite a show. 
What exactly is she doing? Wolfhart, have you been living at the bottom of a well for the past month? The nobles of Isilbright have come to confer with Lord Espen. Everyone's been preparing for weeks. Once the conference is done, Elusia is going to present a spectacular show of her skills for our guests. That's what she's preparing for right now. They're sure in for a treat, I'm telling you. I have to go. Of course. I don't think you can rotate the camera. But you can zoom in. Make haste, Wolfhart. It's a nice mansion. I'll do it. Huh? Okay. So she told us we have to go to our chest. The meeting room is to our left. Kitchen. Butlery. My room, library, and then master suite, and parlor. So we'll go over here first. Plus one to focus after identifying it. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Hello. Wolfhart, can you see this? For the love of Alnarius, how could it how hard could it be to straighten this frog properly? I just don't know what to do with Beth. Bah, who am I even talking to? You've always been the other ne'er-do-well at the house. Weren't you supposed to be serving drinks for the lords by now? We have a bargain and persuasion option here. Don't be so harsh with her, Marie. Marie. Murray. Mary. Not sure how to say that. She already straightened it before. I just happened to stumble on it a few minutes ago. How valiant you are, Wolfhart. I'm sorry you are right. I've been a little hard on her. I just ask the both of you do your work well. I think that's our manager. Of course. Potion of healing recipe and potion of cure all recipe. And a voice in the woods. This is very detailed. 
on my way. I'm not sure if the lords would approve of the servant taking everything out of all of the drawers, but we're going to go with it. These gloves give us a 15% cold resistance. This must be our chest. To equip an item on your character, you first have to open the inventory screen by clicking its button on the user interface. No bow? Okay. That seems like the place to be. Okay, these must be the lords that we're supposed to serve. Not sure if we have to go to the kitchen. Let me talk to her Hello. real fast. Should I have brought a flask with me? I thought that's what the servants were for. <sighs> okay, I see where we stand. Is there a chef around here? Hello. Where's the refrigerator? Potion of relaxation. I'll this might be it right here. I'm needed. At last, Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virilin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Wolcroft and Larenthal want wine. Okay. Highlight all visible containers with tab. We have ale, wine, and mead. Hello, oh, the staff. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. Your wine, Lord Woolcroft. Huh. Yes, yes, get on with it. Your wine, milady. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. Well, that was rude. Lord Joran would like Al, Virilin, and Espen want mead. Hello? Well? Your Al, my lord. You know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No, of course Okay, you okay. Don't. Hello. You're here, finally. You're Al. Wait, was it Al with him? Hold on one second. I can't serve the Lord's wrong, otherwise I'll be whipped. Alright, yeah, Vrillin and Joran. Nope. Vrillin and Espen want mead. Good thing I checked. You're here, finally. Ah, good. Hello. Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat just what I wanted for a change. Is 
Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with their own rule. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmoral. I don't like this dirty business, sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimarald nobility, most recently Alnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Viralin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. The voice acting's actually not that bad. I wasn't even sure if the game was going to have it, so this is a pleasant surprise. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the Southern Nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy. Some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Daron Gould's military, e even the Town Watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed? Ooh. <laughs> Oh my! What exceptional nonsense! <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? I kind of like this guy. All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isil Bright's rules and victims could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving Whoa. the king no way to negotiate or save face. What do you say? The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. Skull. Or throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. You there. What is your opinion on recent developments? Well, Lord Espen. You're asking the errand boy? What does... Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenthal. Well, speak up. I knew I liked this guy. I knew I liked him. Proud servant. A peaceful solution must always be best, especially if the only point of contention is money. Very noble of you. I agree that the value of gold must be held cheap against the value of doing the honorable thing. I think the game froze. Okay, it did not. Uh-oh. 
My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please, take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. Game turns into Dark Alliance 2. Rats everywhere. Under attack by whom? Why am I speaking up as a servant? They make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of Daron Gul. How much time do we have? Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare, right? Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Okay, I like some of the characters so far. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. Me? Of course. Let's go, baby. You and you lot with me. Hey, it's a dwarf. Skull. But what is it, my lord? That sound? The main gate has already been breached. The house of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daryl Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, you've always been a first-rate skulker at Keep Halls. Yes, your weird hobbies are no secret to me. Best not face armed soldiers head on. But do what you can. Aye aye, Captain. Is that a dwarf? I'm not sure. I think it is. We have to find a dwarven companion at some point. He keeps disappearing on us. Keep in mind, guys, this is still early access, so. I'll do it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. You're engaged in combat. You can issue a command to attack enemies to your character by clicking on them in the game world. You can also attack both hostile and non-hostile creatures by clicking on the sword icon on the user interface or pressing left control on your keyboard. Okay. So this game is real-time with pause combat. You can see down here we have special abilities, skills, consumables. We have attack with our sword or with fists. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on one of these guys. Let's dance. We'll help out Lord Espen. <laughs> Definitely want to take out the caster, that's for sure. Oh, well, I'm about to die, actually. Holy cow. Um, let's check our inventory. We have a potion of relaxation. I'm not sure if that's the right call in the middle of combat. All right. Does the red comb give us any health? Doesn't look like it. It's only for crafting. Hmm. Might be wiping in our first combat encounter. Quest inventory, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Definitely gonna have to back up a little bit. Everybody's running to this guy, so we'll go Time hop out over here. Problem solve. Run, Wolfheart, oh, run! Like the place to be. No, 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 over here, buddy. I hope he's gonna run all the way around, okay. Do a little focus fire, let's go, baby. All right, we're okay. Okay, take it back. Let's try again. I need my bow. That's what I need. I'll do it. Hello. Thank you. Oh no, I have to serve these guys again. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, what did oh, this guy want? Taught you nothing here. Oh. I already have my okay, great. Do you need something? 
Thank you. Is that... That'll be it. Hello. Leave me alone. I'm no longer thirsty. Well... Hello. I'm gonna need you guys to commence this meeting. Quite stuffy, and Here we go. And my throat is sorely parched. Just what I wanted. I'll skip through some of this, guys. Shall we do business? Yes. I do. And she's... Uh, <laughs> what do you... <laughs> Kindly do not in there. All right, round two. Fight. My ladies, my lords, they make no see too little, I'm afraid. Surely they... They come. Yes, you come with... I'll go wherever I'm needed. You and you lot of it. Huh? Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Okay, now we got some guys here. It looks like I'm only controlling my character and I can't control any of these guys. I'll let them run out first this time. How about that? Let's dance. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to kill this mage probably really probably pretty soon here. We're gonna stay on Lord Aspen's target. Alright, much better that time. Much, much better. Of course. Well, I gotta loot. Lord Aspen. I'm a peasant, man. I need everything I can get. Got a lot of shields here. I'm gonna take... I just want a... Bow. That's all I want. Is that too much for a servant to ask for? There we go. And there's fire arrows. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wow, this is... A, I wonder what our inventory... Wolfheart is slow due to carrying too much. Okay, we'll take a look at that right now. Make sure we got the game paused first. All right, we'll take a bow and put that on, and then we'll grab our fire arrows. Uh, I'm not sure. If, okay, they go up there. And we'll try that out this time. We have 100 out of 90 maximum, so let's go ahead and drop that. We'll drop the shield. And there we go, now we're good. On my way. Not sure where he went, though. Lord? Aspen? We're good buddies now. I don't have to call him Lord. They're not getting past us. Oh, here we go. Time to nice, nice, nice. Alright, I like the animations. Lord Espen's rocking the ponytail. You gotta respect it. Guard this door with your life, Wolfheart. Come with me. Oh, no. Guard this door with your life. Wolfheart, come with me. Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. It sounds like the fight is coming to us. Perhaps we'd best ready ourselves. Be quiet, I tell you. Oh! You oh. never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember, but if you had, she... God damn this Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. Excuse me? I thought me and this guy were... We're bros, man. Fetch your own sword, Lord. There's no time for argument. Do as I say and... Okay. Yes, that sir. That seems like the place to be. Um... Okay. Oh, wow. They're slaughtering everybody. I like the way that guy walks. <laughs> Found you at last, father. Didn't 
figure you would try and hide from your face. Look at this guy's face. That's a face you don't... <laughs> that's not a face you want to slap, then I don't know what to tell you. To be betrayed by my own son, who wouldn't hide from such a terrible land. I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and man-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective seen the truth of this world this is his son that they're talking about at the meeting table so you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house only pretty words kill me if you wish but i promise it will avail you nothing every man pays for his sins my son and the price of a sin such as this enough of your piety it sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold uh -oh. still, Father. I don't want to click end dialogue. Bullfart? Oh no. They couldn't show us. It was so gory. Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. Excuse me. The Crone's Cottage. Get up, lazy boy. It's time to go to bed. This music sounds a bit like Outward. If any of you guys have played Outward before, let me know below in the comments. Sounds very similar to one of the songs in that game. Where am I? What? Does this look like Rothgar's realm to you? You're in my hut. Why is there so much reverb on your voice, Miss Crone? How did I get here? I brought you here, she says. You can send your character to rest by clicking the long rest button. Resting will replenish some of your character's health, restore spell and ability uses. Okay. Beware, though, sleeping out in the wilds comes with the risk of attracting the beasts and rough faces of the area. Seeking out and sleeping at inns is a safer and more comfortable option. I like it. All right. I like the sounds of this resting system. And our resting button is right down here in the bottom left. Wake up, lazy. Always sleeping, this one. Must have been raised by dream wraiths. Good morning. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? Great. Servant to servant. I think I'll just get a few more hours of sleep in while I've got the chance. Seems like some of the voice acting is missing right now in early access. I'm assuming that they'll be finishing this. Maybe not. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. To read the list you're given, open your character's inventory. Gather the following, a handful of bruise root, one brown stem mushroom, and a slab of fox meat. I'll do it. Okay. Feeling well? Oh, good, good, you know how to read. I have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself. Here. Put these on. You're given an item with special attributes. When worn, such items may modify your character. Okay. We have gardening gloves. Which give us plus 10% to brewing and drying. Good. You put your gloves on just like the rest of us. You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? Good, good. Now off with you. When you've got everything on the list, come back and I'll get to making that stew. By the way, be careful of the creatures in the forest. They can be a bit bitey. Take this stuff as well. It should come handy should you need to protect yourself. Range 1.5. So it looks like a melee weapon. Okay. Not sure if we want to use that or not. Probably stick I'll with the bow. Wherever I'm needed. 
Potion of Cure All and Potion of Healing. Nice. We'll put this on our hot bar. Perfect. Let's go outside. A lot of items in this game so far. I'll do it. an interesting butterfly. I don't think it's something that we needed, though. We did need a some fox meat. On the bottom left of your screen above your character's portrait, you can see a set of quick slots that can be used to perform various actions. You can order attacks and movement, use your character's various skills and consumable items. Spellcaster characters will also find their memorized spells. So I'm not sure if we get any spells as a ranger, but I'll be sure to play as a spellcaster at some point. Try using an offensive spell or an equipped weapon against the fox of the wandering area. Oh no. I don't want to kill the fox. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Let's dance. Just kidding. <laughs> Fox meat and animal pelts. I don't think I can wear this. It looks like heavy armor, but we'll try. Okay, nice. We can. Has a he's got a nice shot, doesn't he? Time to problem solve. Oh, damn it. The spider interrupted our bow shot. Oh, damn it. oh wow, it keeps interrupting. Let's see if we can switch to something else. Okay, nice. I'll even put on a shield too. Very nice. Ugh, I needed that organ. You'll pay for that. Seems like we have a poison status effect on us. All right, I found some bruiser. I found a slab of fox meat. Next up is the mushroom, I believe. On my way. I kind of feel bad after that one. I'm not gonna lie. The man's got to eat. Here's a mushroom right here. There's some right here, too. I don't think I can pick those up, though. And there it is. And the little ding sound must be when you've completed your objective. You've got 
got this coming. Well, you can definitely tell it's a, a lower budget game, but so far it's actually quite enjoyable. I'm excited to get that some companions like so we can really be. test out the combat. All right, loot a couple more things and we'll go back in to the hut. This is bad. I think I have any more uh, potions. Come on, baby. Good thing they're kind of slow. Here we go again. Nice. Nice. On my Very way. nice. Not sure if I should aggro the wildlife anymore, but that spider, I don't like the way he's looking at me. Oh, I guess we already killed that spider. <laughs> I take it back. Right, we're going to go ahead and just go back to the hut because I don't want to die again on my first gameplay session. Otherwise, everybody would unsubscribe. You guys wouldn't do that, would you? A very sweet juice with a surprisingly refreshing aftertaste. Heals the user for 10 hit points over 5 turns. Okay. So it's not turn-based combat, but... It's similar. I'll do it. And that a turn must last a certain amount of seconds. I'm not sure what that number is, but I'll try to figure that out for you guys. to take a rest if you need. How can you tell what's in my pack and what isn't? Now that I've gotten what you need, I have more questions about what's going on here. What? What's this? Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come now, you must try them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before. Mm, with a microwave. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, oh well, take this candle and get to drying. All right, then crush the dried herbs into powder so we have something to season the stew with. Various materials collected in the world may serve as ingredients for crafting. Plants, mushrooms, fruits, and insects can be brewed into potions or dried and crushed into powder. Besides the fresh materials, you need tools to perform these actions. A cauldron for brewing and a heat source for drying. To begin drying, you first need to open your inventory screen. On the top right of the drying tab, you can see your collection of ingredients and heating devices. To switch between the two, click the leaf or cauldron buttons. I wonder if I can do them all at the same time? Ingredients are prepared for drying. You need a long rest to complete the process. You can collect your dry ingredients from your inventory by using the drying panel again. Okay. 
You'll see that your candle was consumed if you used one during the process and your fresh ingredients have all turned into dried versions. You can then click the start crushing button on the bottom of the drying panel. Good, good, well and dried. Give me just a moment and... There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few precious moments to spare. About talking. Stop with the riddles, old woman. I've completed your tasks and you'll answer my questions. I remain unconvinced of that. But let's go ahead and use some of our skills and I have one point into persuasion. There's never enough time and our time would be better served by discussing matters of import. Very good, I think you already have the hang of it, but in, in case that was a fluke, the idea is this. Taking the time and effort to gain knowledge or even learning to talk will benefit you greatly in the difficult times ahead. Pay close attention to what you might uncover in conversations through wit or charm. Thank you. Why did you save me from the assault on the Aspen estate? I kept an eye on Lord Aspen. He was a force of balance and he seal -muralled. His death means that balance has failed. Isildur! And it so happens that I have a soft spot for young people of potential. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and I saw a chance to aid you. Why is it that you're keeping me here and making me do all of this? You weren't ready for Aldnar's attack on his father's manor, and I don't believe you were ready for the chaos of the world as it was when I pulled you from it. You're here to keep you safe, and to make sure that you're ready for the next calamity you find yourself in. Who are you really? I'm afraid that is the question, the one question I can't answer for you. It's easiest to say that I'm someone you were meant to meet. I'm here to set you on your way towards what you must accomplish. Well, what is it that I must accomplish? Pardon me, I misspoke. There are two questions I cannot answer for you. Is the stew almost ready? Ah, yes. Now, there's something you should know. When you leave here, the world you knew yesterday will be gone. And what do you mean? The attack on the Espen estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire, I am afraid. Much will be lost to strife and war. There are worse things than war, though. There is something you must understand before you leave here. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the pauper to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. A curse of greed spreads through the land. What do you mean? A terrible covetousness that hides in mortal hearts. It is among the darkest of dreams. This is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No mere apprentices catch trip either. It is most dangerous. Ah, the stew is done. You're a bit of a fighter, aren't you? I know how to swing a weapon, if that's what you mean. Yes, yes, anyone can. Touché, touché. The real test of a warrior isn't confidence or muscle. To stay alive long enough to become a veteran, you need a brain. Now, see that chest over there in the corner? It's locked, and you don't look like the kind of boy who spent a lot of time fiddling with mechanics. Go open it for me. Getting a lot of orders in this game, aren't we? The chest you need to open is locked. The force locks and door skill can be used to open it up. To use your skill, open the skills bar above the portrait row, then click the force lock button to begin using this skill. Okay. Ah, don't worry, child. There's treasure inside, but we'll have to get past the beastie to go. Uh -oh. Now I'll be joining you, you for a short while to make sure you don't stab yourself anywhere that won't grow back. If you want to learn to inspire your allies to follow your orders, it's important that you practice. Tell me what you want to do as we fight. 
should probably pause the game. Your character can become the leader of your party by using the Command Company skill. Click the Skills bar above the Portrait row, then click the Command Company. Hmm. You can select a Commander perk for your character on the drop-down menu of the panel. This perk will apply passive bonuses to your entire party. To apply these bonuses, you first need to set your character as the Commander of your party. Click the Set as Commander button to do that. We have all these different formations. That's pretty cool. We're going to choose the wolf pack formation. I'll do it. Feeling well. Oh, nice. She's actually a companion right now. Okay. Yeah. Let's dance. Very good. You're learning your way around a fight. Remember that you often won't be alone on the battlefield. Now, what was it that we... Ah, yes. We've done it. The stew is cooked and cooled. Here, boy, this will warm you up after a long, long day. I see that look in your eye again. No, no more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. Um, I don't see any stew. I'll go wherever I'm needed. I guess we rest. Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. Thank you for all of your help. <laughs> now we'll go with number three. About time. So does that mean I'm ready? Yes, as ready as one can be. What's going out what's going on out in the world that I need to be ready for? Conflict is to be expected everywhere you go. More I cannot say. Yes, that is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house. Excuse me? My father, yes, Lord Espen. No, I won't explain to you how it happened. That can't be true. I was merely a servant in his house. There's a reason Lord Espen paid you so much attention, despite your servitude. The other servant surely did not receive the same education or the same favors, nor did anyone else in his house, excepting your half-brother, Eldenar. Oh, gods, he killed our father. He did, and that is the world I must send you back into, one where the sole heir of Lord Espen committed patricide. Patricide, patricide. One, one unaware yet hostile to your existence. Hmm. I'm leaving now. Lord Espen's our father. Interesting. Be safe, my child. Your character has gained enough experience to level up. Click the icon that appeared on the character portrait to start the process. It's nice to be needed. On your character sheet, you can spend points to improve your character's general skills, class skills, and weapon skills. You can add or remove points from skills using the arrows to the right of their names. Wizard characters may also spend points on new spells. Okay. Looks like we get one general skill, so we'll put that into Persuasion. In class skills, I guess I'll up my force lock doors again. And our weapon list has grown. We'll do another one into bows. Although, I would like to, to switch from spear to bow. Hmm. I'm not sure if we're going to find a spear in early access or not, so that worries me a little bit. So maybe we'll just do it all into bow right now. Special abilities. Points available, one. Prolonged Berserk. This ability sends its target into a prolonged state of frenzy. Warriors who rely on Primal might train rigorously to become able to summon their inner range at will. 
grants enrage and indomitability to the target for several turns. Shattering Shot. The user of this ability attempts a ranged attack to disrupt the target's defenses. The user's next range attack inflicts brittle, exposed, and softened. Softened. Vigilance. Enhancing defensive capabilities. And waylay. Attempts a disabling attack against the target that aims to prevent their movement. Okay, I think we'll take that one. Or Berserk. Hmm. And there it is right there, Waylay. I'm not gonna shoot it at the cat. Of course. Let you be safe. Okay, we're out of here. I now must find my own path in the world. She told me it shall be clear, but I am not so sure myself. Finding someone to tell me where I even am would be a good start. I'll do it. Okay, hidden cabin. Looks like the only place I can go. Oh, I can go all the way back to the Aspen Estate. Interesting. Let's go to the Merchant's Road. Looks like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 right now. Gotta explore the whole map, right? Uh oh. Whoa. That's a wolf. Wolfheart would never kill a wolf unless attacked. In that case, I will. Oh man, okay. Chain mail. go wherever I'm needed. Sure if that's considered heavy armor. I thought we weren't able to wear that, but maybe it's not. Okay, while the chainmail is considerably heavier than most leather armor, it also offers a lot more protection and retains chainmails. Hmm. Okay. I should put those on. Hmm. 
Metal plate greaves. Yeah, so it looks like we can wear all of this stuff. I'm not sure if it's... Nice, hey, so we got a little rainstorm. I like the sound of it. Of course. All right, we can't pick up everything anymore. Who is that? I'm listening. The sorry sight is. <laughs> Did you have some part in this? No. The wars of men are none of mine. Praise the stone. I am Helgenhard. Call me Helg, that's too much of a mouthful. I think this guy might be a dwarf. Do you know why they were fighting? Is that a serious question? Even a league beneath the Skag Mountains, everyone knows of the war. I like his voice. All right, it's giving us a seasoned warrior option, but I don't think we chose that skill. And I'm going to choose it anyway so we can see what happens. I see some in the livery of a seal bright. And their foes are also in uniform and therefore not bandits. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, this was one of the smaller battles between the seal bright and dead and good. Uh oh, we have a companion here. Since we're on the same road, why don't we walk it together? I was thinking the same thing myself, but both, but by both habit and predilection. A lot of words. I am always careful of my companions. Tell me what brings you out on this desolate road alone. Well, a series of very confusing events, to be honest. Well, wow. that's quite a tale. If I was a bard, I'd be taking notes right now. Huh. It stands to reason that with your father dead, you are the heir to his estate. I'm not quite sure what I should do about the estate. If only there was somewhere all of my questions could be resolved. This is the road to Asilbrat, yeah. capital of Asilmarut, and also the world capital of noble titles. Seems like as good a place as any to go. Care to join me? Excellent! Onwards to Asilbrat! Our first companion. I'm listening. I go. Looks like a fighter or a Highlander, maybe. Hmm. Not sure how you transfer items to other party oh, members. Would be a mate. Let's give this guy a helm. I think he's going to be our tank. As you say. Helgenar cast vigilance on Helgenar. Yeah, on my way. Nice, nice. All right, for the sake of the video, oh, we got some wolves up here. I'm gonna have to kill some wolves so we can experience some of this combat. Whatever you say. Probably send him up first. Charge. See what he does here. Oh, he's gonna go all the way around. Okay, let's. Uh, it's nice to be needed. That seems like the place to be. Let's go down this way first. With your mate. Let's ask him some questions. What's life like in Stoneholm? It's all in the name, my friend. As everyone knows, we dwarves love to delve and we love to craft weapons, jewelry, vast vaults of stone, anything that lets us use our hands. It's a way of living as satisfying as it is simple. I like it. Or at least it used to be. There have been changes recently, hard words between clans and even between kin, and no interest in smoothing them over. Why not? On my way. Got some formations over here, which is pretty cool. We can't do much with a party of two, but... 
Whatever you say. I'm listening. Yeah? I'll go wherever I'm needed. Go ahead. Bye. Uh oh, what do we got here? It looks like a goblin. By stealing stuff. It's nice to be needed. Let's dance. <laughs> Of course. Okay. Feels all right. Hand of Mercy. Class natural level one and slot type and base. The spiders live. I'm listening. Taste steam. Hmm. Time to problem solve. That seems like the place to be. Run, Wolfheart, run. Nice. The dynamic duo. Go ahead. Yeah. You're in charge. It's nice to be neat. I'll do it. Gonna have to find some more companions here. You've got this coming. Very nice. Alright, so far the game feels pretty good. It's a little glitchy with characters disappearing. Who is this guy? We'll send the dwarf up. Hello! Good day, sir. On your way to a seal right? I warrant a wise choice given the circumstances. It's been several days since I fled Darren Gold. It was already doubtful of our chances against Isilbright before the War Council decided to make its move. But when the plague struck, I grew certain I was on the wrong side. What plague? How can you not heard of? Or how can you not have heard? Have you been living at the bottom of the sea? Darren Gold declared war on Isilbright a few days back and has already gained a foothold in the south of the kingdom. Militarily, it was quite the feat. What are you selling? Goods for travelers, mostly. I used to deal in weapons, too. Until then, feel free to browse what I have. Show me what you have, Gavin. Right away. You are browsing a merchant's inventory. You can see their stock on the left side of the screen, while your selected character's inventory can be seen on the right. You can switch between party member inventories using the drop-down on the right. You can also filter the merchant's stock. All right, he's selling potions of healing for 18 gold. Buy one of those. Buy some arrows. 30 arrows.
Hmm. I'm listening. Not sure how to send this to my other character. I'm sure that there's a way. But for now, I'll just drop it. Why not? That seems like the place to be. Pick it up with this guy. finish off the yeah, rest of I'll this map it. right here and then we'll go down the road looks like we have to go here to the northeast whatever you say it's nice to be needed And I can no longer use my special skills because I think they're only once per long rest. Right. So I don't have those two skills anymore, which is fine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put hmm. here we go. these guys yeah. on the same target. By stealing stones. to be needed. Of course. I'm trying to pick up that belt, but I can't click on it. There it is. All right. Nice. Go ahead. Let's get in there. Yeah. I'll oh. go wherever I'm needed. Let's dance. Having a little bit of OCD with clearing out this map right now. Why not? That seems like the place to be. Oh no. I'm listening. It's nice to be needed. Of course. Okay, I think that's it for this map. Even that's bothering me right now. Time to problem solve. and follow the road. Let's see if we can find this, uh, this town. They're coming, slowly but surely. The dwarf is holding us up. The seal bright gates. You'll pay for that. Let's dance. Hmm, I'll do it. I'm listening. By steel and stone. Yeah. I'll go wherever I'm needed.
Oh, this must be like a random encounter right here, actually, when we're traveling. I think. Well, I really hope there's nothing wrong with this recording. I'll probably continue this recording for another 40 minutes or so and maybe go two hours for this video. But if there's a problem with the audio, then I'm gonna have to play it all again. I'll do it. Hello? Ain't you a lively one? Blacksmith Market. I'm trying to find out what happened to Lord Espen. Have you heard of him? Why? Does he owe you money? Okay. Hmm. Where's a good place to get a drink? Yeah, we want to go to the tavern. You could try the stumbling steps at Greybank Square. Not the prettiest or tidiest, but the drinks are cheap. There's also the risk of getting a knife between your ribs. It's my type of tavern. The other option would be the Crooked Haggler on the Market Street. That's where all the somebodies go, if that's your kind of crowd. Drinks are going to drain your wallets, though. Yeah, we're going to stay away from that place. Okay, right, let's go check it out. What the hell is this guy doing? Don't you have anything to spare? Well, Grape Ocean Technologies isn't giving me an option to uh, toss you a couple of coins, my friend. I'll go. So I apologize. I I like the music. Let's see if they say anything to us. Yep. Stand to there. What's your business in the capital? Not a merchant by the look of it. Maybe I did have a point in Seasoned Warrior, because it's giving us that option every time. My name is Wolfheart. I'm heir to the estate of Lord Aspen, and have come to claim my birthright. It's probably not something you'd say. Maybe you would. I think I want to keep that a secret right now, though. I'm looking for work as a mercenary. Is that so? A strong arm is always welcome here. What side are you fighting him? I will strangle them to death with their own inner. All right, we have the Market Street, the Greybark Square, Warden Haft, and the Castle District. We'll start on the Market Street. Aim and accuracy makes it less likely that your character's attacks miss. So we're going to want to bump some more into dexterity for sure. And more likely that it produces a clean hit or a critical hit. Smulf says, Brilliant sleight of hand, Horomil. That weak princeling at the brothel still doesn't know he's lighter by the weight of one fancy bracelet. We only need a little more, and Crag's ailment can get properly treated. So, uh, someone's coming, I think. What a propitious moment for you to walk into our lives, winsome stranger. My friends and I are collecting a small fee from everyone entering the city. This reminds me a little bit of Doss, too for joy. Your friend there seems perfectly healthy to me, other than being fallen down drunk. If you wait a while, I'm sure he'll sober up nicely. Now how about you let me by? Just look at this stumbling wretch. He's not just drunk, he looks like one of the undead. Alnaria, save us. Now pay up or things will go badly for you. Piss off. Twigs like you are easily broken. I don't like this. I got a bad feeling about this situation. Yes, I don't like the glint in this one's eye. Too much like steel. Nice. Sometimes you just gotta be intimidating. I'll do it. All right, what do we got here? Guess we'll start with this building. Oh wow, it's actually quite large. Next to us is Tolbard's Anvil. Royal Steeds, nice. Definitely gonna check that one out. Temple of Alnarius, the church, dormitory, family house, some merchants, the great baths. I 
Okay. And the Crooked Haggler right here. But we're not going to go... We'll, we'll stop in that one, but we're not going to hang out too long. I'm assuming we'll probably pick up another companion in the city for a party of three. I'll do it. Yeah. Are you a blacksmith? Can I see your wares? Okay, very nice. Very nice. I guess he doesn't care that we just went up into his uh, second story to loot. I'll do it. I'll do it. Now it looks a bit like Celasta. I'll go wherever I'm needed. Check out the Royal Steeds real fast. This guy's putting on a show. Is that Vol- Whoa, look at that. That's pretty cool. is some awfully eerie music for a stable. Hello. Greetings, sir. I'll let you get back to your work. Fine, see you around. Feel free to marvel at the horses. I'll do it. I'm not sure if we're able to ride uh, on horseback in this game or what. I would assume no, but maybe we are. Why, why would you have a stable, man? Hmm. Greetings, sir. Such beautiful steeds. Nope. Okay, it doesn't look like we can do anything in this building. And judging by the music, I feel like they're zombie horses, so let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully they can speed up a couple of these uh, load screws. That's that's just long enough to where you don't want to go into the building. <laughs> Should we talk to this guy real fast? Sure, let's do it. Nice time for a chat, eh? Well, it looks like he's just going to tell us. Let's ask him about Lord Espen real fast. The Hall of Records. Okay. All right, now we're going to stop at... Let's go to the tavern real fast. And then we'll go inside the Temple of Alnarius. It's a merchant right here. Hope that's Gavin's place. Is Gavin in there? Oh, here's Gavin. Hey, what's up, brother? We gave you enough business. Be nice to other people in the world and things will go your way. Act like a bully and a cur and the world punishes you. This guy might have had one too many drinks, but you know what? He's a dwarf. We understand. The Crooked Haggler. I feel like we're going to get into a fight in here. I'll do it. Lord Smedric, if any were to ask, I would compare Lady Biala's exquisite presence to the light of dawn. So, I don't know how you actually say that, but I'm going to say Biala. Pretty sure that she's a companion, from what I remember when I did research on this game and released that uh, that video on it a couple months ago. 
Ah, I would never compare Lady Biala's love visage to anything so harsh as that. I think the reflection of moonlight on a still pond is more apt. My lords are too kind, but you know, I'm finding it a titch stuffy in here. I believe I will step out for some air. Let me fan you, me lady. I too carry a fan for such occasions. Mine is fashioned from pheasant. Dirty wild creatures are pheasants. Step aside, poppers. My fan is crafted from the feathers of the legendary phoenix. Really, my lords, I have a needlepoint back at my apartments that I'm most eager to complete. If you'll excuse me. Nonsense, lady. I cannot go an hour longer without you choosing me over these two scoundrels. I cannot wait another minute until you select me over these two vagabonds. Okay. Alright, now we have our dwarf speaking. What a spectacle what a spectacle these men make God. I'm sorry guys. It's been a long day. What a spectacle these men make of themselves. A dwarf woman would know how to handle such a situation. A gentle rap on the temple with the backside of an axe. Let me see if we can help her out, Wolfheart. Um, you know what we can try here? I think there's a way to... I thought there was a way to use your fists, but I don't see it anymore. Maybe if I take off my bow. There we go. Who are we taking out first? Let's take out this guy. I don't like his haircut. Yes. Hush you, can't you find someone else to trouble? Oh, won't let me. Let me take off his sword just in case this turns bloody by accident. Let's dance. Oh ah! no. Oh, that's a classic Wolfheart playthrough. Oh man. Hopefully the game's been auto-saving. Ah, I was just trying to help her out, man. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Well, this will be interesting. Um, let's yeah. go ahead and uh, this is probably a great distraction for her to get out of here. Get the right. hell out of here. Run. See if they follow us out. The whole city is going to be looking for us now. I knew that was a bad idea. And yet I did it anyways. I'll do it. Okay, it looks like we're okay out here. Um, I wonder if I can long rest. The city guards won't tolerate you sleeping on the streets, it says. Hmm. Alright, looks like we might have glitched the game a little bit because there's battle music going on, but also the regular background music. So... I'll go I would assume that I'm when needed. the game releases, and I think they are planning on releasing it in early 2022. Don't quote me on that. I would I would assume they'll fix things like that. Um, I guess I could go back and check real fast. See if it's all good in here now. Probably not. The lords aren't too happy. Nope. All right. Yep, I knew we weren't welcome at that tavern. Hopefully we didn't ruin our chances of uh, having another companion, though. I'll come back at level 5 with Fireball. Oh, that's a I'll problem. It. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I have a potion. Hold on. I don't have a potion equipped on him. Oh, I do. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that right there. We'll have you take that. Hmm. And Wolfheart, you don't have a potion either. Let's put that on your potion belt. I'll have you pop one too. And then you guys get the hell out of here. Let's go, baby. Come on. We can take these guys. Oh, no. We can't. Oh, no. Of course. What do you need? It's nice to be needed. I knew this was a bad idea. Hope you guys aren't taking uh Why not? taking notes yet. On my way. Well this will be interesting to see what happens when he dies. Oh no. Oh no. Run! We gotta get to the we gotta get to the, the lower district. Who wants to hide us? All right, we gotta take a right, oh my gosh. Here we go. Uh, 
Only one of us might make it. Our only hopes is that other tavern. Nice, nice. We're... Oh, here we go. Hold on. Family house? Maybe I should go inside a family house. We'll try that first. We'll be okay with it, right? I think. Oh, no. Okay, we're safe, temporarily. The music's messed up again, but that's okay. Oh, it sounds like a nice song, too. Let's go upstairs. Don't mind us. Well, we might as well loot the house while we're here, right? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Probably a respectable family. Alright, let's go back out. This might be the end of our playthrough here soon, guys, if I didn't save. But that's okay, because we're already an hour 40 into it. Alright, let's go back out. Um, first, let me... Hold on, is there a way to just transfer things to other party members' inventories? There must be. There must be a way. Can I just go like that, maybe? I'm there we go, that's it. Okay, great. I wonder if I can split these, too. All right, that's probably good. Hmm. And here we go. Three, two, one. Everybody say a prayer to Alnarius. This is how most of my playthroughs go, so I'm used to this Please stuff. Oh my gosh. It's a bit more than I expected right out the gate. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I didn't program them to go into the next area yet. Oh, wow. This is real close. Oh, wow. That's crazy. All right. Let's go to... Let's go to the Greybark Square. Man, I wonder if I'm ever going to be able to get back into this city. Just trying to help out the lady. I do this for you guys, so you guys don't have to do it yourselves. And thank you to anyone who made it this far in the playthrough right now. I really do appreciate it. It's, it's nice to do content like this. I'll I don't do typically it. do videos like this because it's kind of uh, low effort content. It doesn't take me, you know, 15, 20 hours to make a video. I just play and record. So it's, 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 it's kind of low effort, I guess you could say. So I typically don't do stuff like this on the channel. But it's nice to change it up a little bit. So thank you guys for those of you guys that have been hanging out. I'll probably be live streaming this game also a couple times here in early access. Moran says, thank you for stopping this miscreant. Thank Alnarius. There are still few honest citizens to be found in Isilbright. I hope you're okay. Hmm. No, I am not okay. There's a tightness in my left shoulder, just here. I think I might have pulled something. Sorry to hear that. Perhaps you can pursue some kind of restitution from this wiggly scoundrel. Though I doubt he'll have anything in the way of fungible goods. There is always his hide. Unfortunately... <laughs> this guy must be a companion. Right. I am uh, between professions right now. Nonsense. You have a profession, even if you're not particularly good at it. Give him a hard shake, lads. That piece would pay both your wages for a month. I want that ring. Check him again. Did you check his boots? Beneath his collar, check the lining of his sleeves. His kind have a thousand tricks. Nope, nothing. He ain't got it, Master Morin. Now we have an outlaw option here. He probably swallowed it. That's what I would have done. <laughs> and they'll probably rip him open. There you have it. No ring, no crime. I will be the judge of that. Hold him for me, boys. I'm going to give our friend a reminder to steer clear of my shop from now on. 
Unhand this man, you cowards. We're trying to get a companion. God save me. Now you want to protect this thief? Do you want to face him fairly without your hired thugs? Unbelievable. Come on, you two. We've already wasted half the day. All right, guys. I think we have our third companion here. But I'm not sure if I'll ever be allowed actually in the market square again, so I still might have to start over at some point. Hmm. This is why I love the big city. Excitement. Thrills. Always meeting new people. Speaking of which, nice to meet you. Call me Hamlin, please. Why is your hand in my pocket? Pardon? My hand? Well, I was thinking on the mystery of Master Moran's missing ring, and I noticed this tiny bulge just there. Indeed, I always assume that whatever I find in my pockets belongs to me. I will be keeping this. Of course, it might be delightful to unexpectedly discover such precious things in one's pocket. Hamlin says, you know, I believe you and I have something in common. We both have the aura of adventure about us. We are gentle people of the road. We're destined for greater things. What say we throw in together? I like the sound of that, Hamlin. Fantastic. Let us carry on then. All right, now we have a party of three, and it probably yeah. would be four I'll if I didn't go. mess Wherever up that, uh, that tavern. All right, nice. So he's a thief, and we have a steel ability down here and also a plant item. That's pretty cool. I think there's more depth to this game um, Off I go. than people might expect. Pick lock, and we have sneak. Nice. It's pretty cool. And then for skills, hope that is his skills. For spells, we have Dirty Blow. Okay. I just hit the long rest buttons. Now we have our health back and we also have nice. our I'm skills losing. back. Well, I go. Go ahead. What is your wish? Why not? I wonder if long resting will get rid of those people in this town square the guards attacking us our witch is dwelling and here's the stumbling step so we'll go over here first i bet you we'll find another companion oh no the whole huh the whole town is scared of us right now i'm not sure if it's because of hamlin yeah i really screwed this playthrough up guys but we're gonna go to the inn anyways Let's see where our, where our last load point is You guys, see, I'm not live streaming, so I don't have anyone to remind me to hit F5. Family house. Okay, so it's been it's been auto saving, um, but I don't see anything. I did three auto saves in the family house. That's not good. <laughs> I'll figure that out on my own time, guys. Let's go inside the stumbling steps. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try to fight this one out, guys. Um, and I'm gonna have to reload, obviously. But let's uh let's use a couple skills. Let's do that. Hmm. We'll do that on no, I'm not gonna kill her. Do everything we got right now. Maybe we can actually win this fight. Yeah. I'll do it. Let's dance. Go ahead. Gonna focus, make sure we focus fire right here. Oh, I don't have on uh, my bow right now. It's nice to be needed. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we have 22 arrows. Perfect. And I also have a couple healing potions, I believe. Why not? I'll go wherever I'm needed. All right. Time to probably make sure everybody's attacking him again. Nice to be You've got this coming. There's actually only two guards in here. Everybody else is just scared right now. <laughs> You know, the good thing is you guys get to see some more combat. Of course. I'm ready. Wonder if there's any Off sort of like backstab. Like so. Like so. Oh. Ah. What is your wish? He's actually. I wonder what happens if he dies. I'd be curious to test that Why out. Not? Actually, we'll, we'll let fate. 
determine his feet. Okay, nice. Oh, now I'm slaughtering. Oh, no, now it's just, it just automatically started slaughtering everybody. All right, well, too late. <laughs> oh, when a playthrough goes wrong, guys. At this point, we're just going to murder the entire town now. Oh, it hurts. It feels bad. It almost feels as bad as that fox. All right, I'll let her live. No, I need the combat music to go away. She shall die. Whatever you say. Taste steam. I'm ready. I yes. wonder if this uh, thief is any good with... Uh... All right. Yeah, that seems like the place to be. Oh, I'd have to say this is a, a good aligned playthrough, don't you think? Don't you guys think? Hello. And everything goes on like nothing happened. Greetings and welcome to the Stumbling Steps. What can I get you today? Why is it called the Stumbling Steps? Well, there's an obvious reason for that, my friend, as well as a less obvious one. Take a gander at how our valued patrons walk. That's the obvious one. However, there was a memorable, memorable stumble that graced the tavern with its current name. The original tap man back in the day, Barnham, was constantly feuding with his brother about who was really in charge. It was a family business, and old Barnham was never one to turn a drink, turn down a drink. As the old man was walking home one night, he took a wrong step that sealed his fate. He tripped, cracked his noggin on a cobblestone, and blood and brains sprayed all over the square. What? That's pretty uh, dramatic for, for tripping. So his brother won that particular dispute and became the boss. The name is a memento of that mishap. I'd like to rent a room. Let's do that. Which one would you like? We've got the one without ticks or the one without rats. Oh, they must have bed bugs here. Interesting. You're browsing the rooms of an inn. Each of your characters must be assigned to a specific room before they can be sent to rest. Each room costs the same no matter how many characters are resting inside. You can assign a character to a room by clicking their portrait. So resting in an inn um, is obviously probably the best way to rest as you're not going to have any random encounters. All right, so assign party members. It looks like you can hire a guard. Interesting. Hold on. Maybe you can have random encounters. Basic room. Three gold per night. Basic rooms provide the bare minimum of comfort at a very low price. They consist of simple beds and a table with stools, not much else. Still, basic rooms can restore more health to party members than camping in the wilderness. All right, so rooms at an inn also provide more health restoration. And then the cellar distillery. Located underground, these damp dark rooms are equipped with the tools needed for cooking up concoctions, brewing and drying while, while resting. I think it's supposed to be resting. Unless I don't know that word. Here it may yield extra results as well as a bonus to the skill. Cool. I will go with this one. Okay, it looks like we all have a basic room. Let's hit rent and see what happens. Okay. On my way. Now let's go back out. I'll do it. Okay. The lords and ladies of Silverite arrived in an important conference, so I was given the duty of serving drinks, so we already did that, and this is the one we're on, okay. For side quests, we're done with that one. Our compendium, compendium is filling up. And here's our greed bar. So this is something that I don't really know how it works yet, because I haven't been playing, but it's an important mechanic in the game. Global greed level is faint. The curse of greed currently affects the world of Yerengal faintly. It can barely be felt, but those with a keen sense might start to feel its effect. Costs of living are on the rise throughout Yerengal, and albeit ever so slightly, some can feel the winds of change. That's so going to have some effect, obviously, a major effect on the game. 
And I think that's kind of like the alignment system oh, in this no, game. I guess you could I say need. you're either going to be really greedy or you're not going to be. Or you'll be right in the middle. All right. Unfortunately, we don't get to experience the beautiful music. So let's go out into the wilds real fast. Wonder what's up here. Or we'll check out another area of the city before I end the stream. We're only nine minutes, eight minutes from having a two hour gameplay video. Let's check out the castle district. It's probably going to be a lot of knights there, but you know, YOLO. Oh, I can't. It won't let me go there. Um, okay. Can we go to the warden half? Yes, we can. Be careful of greedy words and actions. Their results can be more insidious than you imagine. Careful of greedy words and actions. Okay. What about killing, uh... What about killing half the town? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we did. Nope, we're in Warden half right now. Look at this. This is a pretty cool place, though. All right, we're going to fight to the death. I'm All right. Listening. Um, I think these guys are glitched out a little bit. Boy, Let's go ahead and... Who's ca oh my god, there's so many casters here. There's not a shot in hell we survive this. I'll do it. But we're gonna fight to the death, Let's baby. Dance. Go ahead. Looks like I'm continuously stunned over yours? here. Yeah? Let's, let's do this on somebody that's far away. I guess I'll do it on him. It's slowing him down. I don't know if it's gonna slow down his attack speed. What do you need? All right, not bad particle effects. Hamlin died. The protagonist died. All right, let's see where... Oh, look at the dwarf. Of course, the dwarf is the last one alive. Oh, let's go ahead and reload and see see what the damage is. It's going to be bad. It's going to be so far back, guys. But that's okay. This video will probably be coming out on Monday, and then I'll probably do a Monday night stream. So those of you guys that are watching it within a couple hours of it coming out, I'll probably replay all of this tonight anyways on stream. Either that or we're going to check out King's Bounty. Okay, yeah, so this load point is pretty not, not good yet. I don't see any other options. <laughs> Let's go back to that one. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, you know what, guys? I'll figure out this low point thing. Thank you guys so much. If any of you guys made it this far, definitely let me know below in the comments. I really do appreciate that. The longer that you watch videos and even streams on the channel, the better that the channel does. It's a really big indicator to YouTube's it. algorithm as to if people want to watch your channel or not. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed Black Couriers of Darkness. I'm going to refrain from giving too much of an opinion right now. Um, I'd like to be more educated on the game and get more experience with it and also get a little bit further and have a full party of five and get into some cool combat encounters. So far, I have enjoyed it, though. It, it was a fun first session. I think some of you guys that like the older CRPGs would probably definitely be interested in this. So have a fantastic night, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.